So now it's finally time to start talking about quantum mechanics. And so why, why in the world before this video did I, did I go through all those videos talking about waves and wave properties and, and trying to understand, stand, trying to understand the properties of waves and, and, and what comes from, from using a wave equation and, and applying it to a situation? Well, that's a good question. And the answer is that the, the main idea of quantum mechanics, the, the thing from which everything in quantum mechanics comes, is, is called, called wave-particle duality. Wave-particle particle duality. So what, what in the world does this mean? Well, it it means kind of what it what it what the words mean, I guess, which is no surprise. But so basically, the fact that things that we think of as particles are also waves, and and the reverse is true that things that we think of as waves are particles. And so, so what's what exactly is the problem here? Is that so when we think of a particle, think of Think of this this dot here, and and we know where it is, where we can know where it is, and it's and it's and it's moving somewhere, right? It can it can have a velocity and a position, and that's that's really the main thing about about a particle is that it has a position and a velocity, and and you can think about when when two waves, or when not when two waves, but when two particles say they're they're on a crash course and they're about to they're about to collide, right? What, after they collide, the, you'll end up with, you know, this is this is one time one time frame here, and then you'll end up with with I really really dislike that arrow. You'll end up with the particles bouncing off each other, and then they'll be they'll be flying off in some other directions, and they. They collide and then keep going, and something, you know, they just they just bounce off each other, and and that's that's how particles interact with each other. But but when we talk about waves, and I'll just switch colors here to my to my happy orange wave color that I've been using throughout these other videos. We have a wave, right? And and instead of saying that it is somewhere, we can. We can, you know, where is it exactly? Is it is it here, or or is it here, or is it in all of these places, or where exactly is it? And 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 position isn't really something that you can talk about in a, in an easy way with with a wave, right? What is its position, and and what is its velocity? And it's it's since it's so spread out, it's hard to really talk about its velocity. Either right, and and maybe you have you know just one wave pulse, and you can talk about its velocity there, but but it's not as clear as as it is with a particle, where it's just one little bundle of of something, and it's and it's flying around, and then and then what happens when two waves interact? So it's it's not quite like this, where they just bounce off of each other. They they what will happen? It will you know like we like we did in our our other wave videos, we had. And we had a, a blue wave pulse and and a, and a red wave pulse and and so when these when you add these together when they interact they actually interfere and they they become something something different for for a period of time and so here I guess it would look like this I don't know. <laughs> I picked I picked two wave pulses that it was it was difficult for me to <laughs> to even interfere them but but they'll constructively interfere at the first part when they're both up and they'll destructively interfere in the second part where where the blue pulse is down and the and the red pulse is up so so something like this and so if we compare these two waves of or these two ways of looking at the world, or looking at systems of matter, they're they're actually very very different. And how do we how do we 
how do we justify the fact that that in experiments we see we see things acting as particles having a position of velocity and bouncing off each other and 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 sometimes we see things as waves and and they're they're we don't know where they are and they're interfering with each other and and how do we how do we how do we justify that and how do we come up with a theory where where we can say that this all actually makes sense and we can we can talk about it in a way where we <laughs> Where we can predict the outcomes and maybe make maybe make cool machines out of this stuff, or or claim that we understand it. How do we understand this? That's that's the main question of of quantum mechanics. So so one of the one of the biggest things, and this is why I I ended on that in the previous videos, is is the concept of standing waves or the concept of of normal modes, so I'll I'll just draw a few few standing wave examples again, just so we have our our one bump standing wave and and we have our our two bump standing wave with one node in the middle, and then we have we have other you know, we have other you know so on and so forth three bumps and four bumps and 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 as high as many bumps as you want. So these these are the only functions that that satisfy these boundary conditions, right? Or or any other functions that you might have are are combinations of these things. So these are the only these are the only allowed functions. They, or they're the they're a a basis set as as and and that's the first time I've used that word, and I'll use it many times if I ever do complete a a a, a playlist on quantum mechanics. But, but it's just the the idea that I can build any other any function out of these other functions, any function that satisfies the same conditions at least, and and all the rest. So there's many arrows. So when we treat when we treat matter, which we normally or before quantum mechanics we would think of them as particles, think of matter as a bunch of particles. We start treating matter as waves. We get the same we get the same the same thing happening. So they're actually they're actually they're actually only certain allowed states for, for matter to exist. And it can and it can exist in some complicated way, but, but you can break it down into these states. And that gets us that gets us actually gets us the word quantum. Right? Because you can you can count these states. Quantum. Quantum, for for the quant, you know, you you have the word quantity, or you can figure out the quantity. Quantum mechanics, and that's where the the word comes from. Is actually this this idea of, or this concept that that there's a, only a certain discrete number of states allowed, rather than than you know, in a in a when you treat something as a particle, it can be moving at any speed. And I guess as an example, I'll I'll, I'll draw an, an atom, and this isn't really the way an atom is, but to but to sort of show 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 how this concept um, applies to an atom. So I'll have a I'll have my wave function, the function that describes my wave of an electron, right? So it's it's going around this atom, and I'm only showing it in two dimensions, and I'm really it's really not even accurate in two dimensions. But we can imagine that this wave repeats itself three times around around the circle, and then we can do the same thing. So I'll I'll use it I'll use a purple. So we can also say that this will be another, and these are different boundary conditions, but we still get the same. We still get the same thing where you can count the states, and 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 this, the allowed states or any state can be can be um, can be expressed as as a linear combination of these other states, right? So this next next allowed state might be that you know the the wave repeats four times. So there's two times. There's three times. And there's four times. The wave repeats four times, and we have this 
here our boundary condition would be that it just needs to link up with itself, right? So if you think of a classical atom where 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 the where the electron so I'll draw I guess I'll draw a classical atom, the same same nucleus and a and a, an electron just going here it's going in a circle around the nucleus, or a, not a circle, but an oddly shaped thing. But anyway, it's just moving around, and and this in the classical in a classical way, this can have any radius. You know, it can have this other radius, right? But but maybe maybe there's a, another state in here that has this green radius, and in the classical atom, where where we don't think of it as a wave. There's, there's, it's a continuum of states. Any, any state can exist. But when we think of it as a wave, we, we get these quantized states, these, these countable states that are, that are separate and they're discrete. Rather than a continuum of states, we end up with a discrete set of states. And again, I just want to reiterate that this is not an accurate depiction of an atom, but, but it's a good way to, to visualize what's going on with, with this atom, or, or a good way to, to 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 reiterate this point that 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 there are only certain allowed wave functions, and any other wave function can be built from those. But but anyway, I'm rambling, and and this this model of an atom actually actually explains some of the things that we see because we only see atoms if you you know if you're you heat up something and, and its electrons are jumping around. We only see certain wavelengths of light come out. We don't see a whole spread from from a certain type of atom. And and we'll we'll have all kinds of time to discuss things like that. But uh, so for now I think I think I've covered everything I intended to. So just just to quickly resummarize this, I went through all that stuff about about waves because well I wanted to 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 make it so that make sure that by the time someone watches this video they feel comfortable with waves and and so all we're doing is saying that wave isn't just a particle or or matter isn't just a particle that's also a wave and that when we look at things based on the idea that that matter is also a wave we get an explanation of these things of these strange these strange, strange things that that we that we're getting from our experiments. So we knew that something something was up, and and so the idea that matter is also a wave uh, sort of got us got us started in this quantum mechanics and this explanation of all these these interesting things that happen at these small scales. So anyway, in the next video, I'll I'll talk about. I'll introduce the wave equation of quantum mechanics, and that's called the Schrodinger equation. Schrodinger equation. It's two dots. Schrodinger equation. And this is the wave equation of quantum mechanics. Exciting! Exciting times.